it's going down. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. And welcome to another series of It's Going Down, being brought to you by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Eurozone economy may shrink this year due to energy crisis, high inflation. So here it says, Europe is trying to tackle dwindling fuel supplies from Russia caused by Western countries. Now, if you notice, if you notice, Europe is blaming the U.S. for dwindling fuel supplies. Okay, now we know that according to biblical prophecy, right, we know that that according to Bible prophecy, NATO, the EU, okay, actually NATO and the EU are going to turn on United States of America. So real quick, just on that statement alone, I can get Obadiah 1 and 7. All the men of that confederacy have brought thee. Who is the thee? Well, let's go, let's go to Obadiah chapter 1 verse 1. So we can know who this is referring to. Okay. Obadiah chapter 1 verse 1. The vision of Obadiah. Thus saith the Lord. Yahweh Bahashom. Yahweh Shai. Our power. Concerning who? Concerning Edom. Who is Edom? That's the so-called white man. According to the Holy Scriptures. And that's starting with the so-called elites. Trickling down to the rest of their nation, the people, rather if they call themselves Russians, Australians, Americans, Europeans, this is all concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye and let us rise up against her, against who? Against America in battle. So now let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. So Obadiah 1 and 7, all the men of thy confederacy, all the men of America's confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread, meaning they that have learned of the ways of America, America's democracy, have laid a wound under thee. There is not understanding in him. So the key point is, all the men of that confederacy, all the men of America's alliance have brought them to the border. You see that? So all of your allies, America, and I can get Revelation 17 verse um, 16, you know what? Let's go ahead and get it. Let's get it for edification's sake, okay? Because the scriptures say that the beast shall hate the whore. The beast shall hate the whore. Let's get that. Let's start at verse um, 16. No, let's start at verse 15, okay? Revelation 17, verse 15. And he saith unto me, The waters which thou sawest where the horse sitteth are peoples and multitudes, nations and tongues. Who's the whore? The whore is America, Babylon the Great. Okay? And a matter of fact, when you go to Revelation, because we know that Babylon is America, right? 
Let's see. Let's see. Okay, up here it says the great whore that sit up upon many waters, right? Now, if we come down here, let's see. And upon her, who? The great whore. Upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great. Who is Babylon? America is Babylon, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. So let's go back here. Now if we scroll down, let's go here. And he saith unto me, the waters which thou sawest where the whore, America, Babylon the Great, where the whore sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. Tongues. What are tongues? Languages. What is the top priority language that these nations speak on the planet? The top priority language that these people speak here on this planet is English. You look at these Arabian countries when you watch the news. What what are they? What 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 are what are the top language they speak outside of their native language? It's English. The top priority language that these Africans speak outside of their native language is what English. The top language that these Chinese people and Japanese people speak outside of their language is what? English. Okay, so, and English, that is the top language that America speaks. So, America is that great whore that sit up upon peoples, multitudes, nations, and languages. Let's go to verse 16. And the ten horns, okay, the ten horns are the ten cities which are governed by the seven heads of NATO, which thou sawest upon the beast. The beast is NATO. It's not talking about an actual beast. These shall hate the whore. These shall hate America and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire and burn her with fire. <sighs> Okay, this place is going to go up in <laughs> this place is going to go up in flames. You hear me? So NATO is going to set this place on fire, and guess what? Europe, which is the European Union, is going to set this place on fire. How are they going to do that? Via intercontinental ballistic missiles, which are carried by nuclear warheads. No, 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 no intercontinental ballistic missiles which carry nuclear warheads. NATO is going to shoot their intercontinental ballistic missiles on America in their betrayal and that's according to Obadiah chapter 1 verse 7 and Revelation chap chapter 17 verse 15 all the way to 17. For Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai had put it in their minds to fulfill his will so Europe is trying to tackle dwindling fuel prices from Russia caused by Western countries. You see that? The West is being blamed for Europe's dwindling fuel uh, um, um, supplies caused by Western countries tight sanctions against Moscow that were imposed shortly after the start of special military operations in Ukraine in late February. So the Eurozone economy is set to shrink this year due to high inflation and potential energy short shortages. A UK media outlet has cited has cited economists economists as warning and that's all thanks to America. The United States of and I've been we've been I we we've been saying this okay as the body of Yahweh Shai we've been saying this we've been saying that the United States is responsible for the gas shortages in Europe the United States of America is responsible for the energy crisis in Europe 
America is responsible for for the cost of living crisis in Europe. America, the United States of America, is the reason why people down there in Europe are freezing. They urge that the single currency zone was already in recession with gross domestic production expected to contract contact or contract over the whole world of next year European Commission increases inflation forecast in EU from 8.3% to 9.3% and guess what it's only get going to get worse you know why because Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow up Jacob are the Israelites the Israelites are you so-called Negro Latino and Native Indians rejoice you so-called Negro Latino and Native Indians for Yahweh Shai's return is near it is very near it is more nearer than we believe Morgan Stanley economist uh, 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 Chiara Zen Garali claimed that gas markets in Europe remain a key risk adding additional supplies disruptions or a particularly cold winter could lead to renewed tensions and prices rising again forcing another round of adaption and demand and demand destruction even even though EU members managed to lower their dependence on Russian gas imports and whose idea was that that was the United States of America's idea that's why the EU is suffering by turning to Norway and the US as well as shifting to alternative energy sources the economists have warned that without Russian supplies it will be much harder to refill Europe's, Europe's gas shortages facilities ahead of next winter. Carson Brzezinski's uh, head of Marco Research ING Bank warned that gas storage levels are dropping quickly. They are dropping quickly now and that there is still the risk of an energy supply crisis th this winter. According to the expert, moreover, uh, next winter will be even more challenging and that's pretty much the end of this article I believe that this is just going to something else with that I'm going to say Shalom